Or the second way is select the chart first and then manually add the data. The first one is very easy but it hinders or it interferes with the data that you want to display and it might not give you the desired result. So let us first select the chart, insert it and then select the data that you want to insert within your chart. So here in my chart what I want is students marks for three subjects which is English, Maths and Language for four semesters. So my x-axis will have different semesters and on y-axis I will have marks for English, Maths and Language. So what I can select is different kind of charts. So let me select this particular chart. Now here you will see a blank area for chart has been inserted with nothing but just a container box which will include your chart. Here we will select what kind of data we want. So for that you will see that the moment I click on this box, I have two tabs, a design tab and a format tab. So we will go to the design tab. And within the design tab, you will see rest everything is deselected or not active. It's because we have not yet created a chart with our data. So what we will do is we will go to the data group and there we will click on select data. Here you will see select data source dialog box has opened. So here you can display what kind of data you want to display on your y-axis and what data you want to display on your x-axis. So what we will do is, as I told you earlier, on my y-axis, I want different marks for the subject. So I will add a legend entry and I will select the very first subject, which is English. So series name has to be English. So I will simply click on the cell which contains the heading then I will go to the values and for values I will select all these four cells and click on OK and they will be inserted for each semester. Then I will add one more which will be for maths. Then again select the values for maths, click on OK. And you will see it will also be inserted with this orange bar and let us add one more which will be for language again let us select the series name then the values or the range and it will be inserted and when it comes to horizontal axis let us click on edit and label range will be it will remain exactly same because by default if you do not select ranges for your horizontal axis it will by default take 1 2 3 4 only but here as we have given 1 2 3 4 only it is not making any changes so what we will do let me click on ok I will go here and I will type first second third and Fourth. and you will see the moment I am entering it is getting changed in the chart as well.